Hey guys, so today I'm in Sunny Beach in the southeast of Bulgaria and today I'm going to do you a guided tour and show you the best restaurants and the best bars in Sunny Beach. So I've started the tour in the Camellia area of Sunny Beach. It's uh, right in the city centre opposite the bus station and I've started at one of the best restaurants in Sunny Beach and this restaurant is called the Iris Garden. You can find this restaurant at number 64 in the Camellia area of town. And um, I've had my lunch here today. It was a delicious lasagna and it cost um, 10 lev, which is about four pounds 80. So it was very reasonable from the lunchtime menu. So when you're here in Bulgaria, I recommend you have a look outside at the board outside that's written in Bulgarian and use the translate application on your mobile phone. And you can see the menu in English then and you'll get the daytime promotion, which is a much better deal than the nighttime price. It's maybe 50% cheaper. Uh, this restaurant is really lovely. Uh, you have all these fountains around the restaurant, so it makes it really, really nice, especially it's, it's so hot outside. It's about 27 degrees and you come into this beautiful garden and you see the fountains and it's a really nice place to chill out on a hot afternoon. So when you come to this restaurant, I recommend you the mackerel fish. Um, I had a lovely fillet of mackerel fish here the other day and uh, every day they have um, soup of the day on the board outside and that's about four and a half lev, which is about two pounds. So I'm gonna take you around all my favorite restaurants here and I've tried most of the restaurants in Sunny Beach. And I'm gonna show you the best ones and the ones that are the best value and tell you what to order as well. So here's the board typically outside the restaurants. They have a board like this outside and there's uh, all the prices there of the different things on there. So you can see it's all written in Bulgarian, but you just use the uh, translate on your mobile phone. So when you're here in Bulgaria, I recommend you try a dish called the Shopska salad. And the Shopska salad is the, real, is the, is the local dish uh, that they have here. It's the local salad that you must try when you come to Bulgaria. Um, you can also try the Tarator soup, which is a local cold soup. And Tarator soup is very, very nice, like a yogurt based soup. Um, there's also a, di a dish called Satch that you must try as well. And um, that's with um, pork and chicken in the Satch. Um, there's another popular dish here called Kavama that you must try. Um, Kavama is really nice. It's also a meat stew dish, uh, typical Bulgarian. So on the right side here, we've got a, a typical Bulgarian bread shop. Um, it would be probably about one lev to get some bread from the bread shop there. Straight ahead here on the right side, this is the bus station. So when you, when, you, when you come from the airport, there's buses every single hour um, coming here to Sunny Beach from the airport and the bus costs eight lev, which is about three pounds 80. So I recommend maybe get the bus here. It's much, much cheaper than a taxi. So here's the bus station here on the right side. And if you go to the kiosk there, there's a kiosk on the right side where you see the blue sign over there where it says bus station and the lady speaks English and she will help you and she'll tell you the bus times. You can get a bus timetable in advance. She'll give you a print off as well. And then you've got all the taxis that are parked here on the left side if you need a taxi as well. Um, here in Bulgaria, taxis are negotiable. So for example, um, if, they, if you want to go to Nesibar for the day and you walk over to them, they might say to you, oh, it's 35, it's 35 lever, but you can negotiate and you can pay them a lower price and you can give, you can offer them 15 lever and then maybe you'll meet in the middle and maybe you will pay 20 lever. So going from Sunny Beach to Nesibar, you should be paying around 20 lever, which is about 10 pounds. Now, if you want to change your money here in Sunny Beach, this is the one I recommend opposite the bus station. This does the best rate in town. I changed all of my money here this holiday. Um, it's a very good exchange shop. It says Western Union outside. So make sure you find the one with the Western Union sign outside there. And you can see her rates here on the board. So they're offering 2.17 today uh, for the British pound to the lev. Um, in terms of euros, they're offering 1.9 euros to the lev. 
and make sure you look at the buy and the sell outside. Don't confuse buy and sell because that's where tourists normally get confused. So this is the one that I go to to change my money and it's really good. And the other day, so I went there the other day and the rate was two, it was 2.25 uh, Bulgarian lev to one pound and I went into the shop there, the currency exchange, and I got 2.22 Bulgarian lev to the pound, which is very good because in the city centre on Flower Street, the main street, and by the seaside, um, they were offering me 2.14 lev and 2.15 lev. So this is the main road of Sunny Beach that cuts right through town. Um, there's lots of hotels located on this main road and you walk, walk down and you see lots of pubs and restaurants. This pub here on the left side does cheap prices. You're on the main road, but if you drink back... Hello, hey, how's it going? How much is the beer here, mate? Two pints and a half, seven left. Seven left for two pints and a half. Three quid. And what's the name of the pub? Spiders. Spiders pub, yeah. So guys, if you want cheap beer, go to Spiders pub. I'll be in there later on. Cheers guys, bye. Uh, and now walk you back down the main road and we'll go and find some more restaurants. So that does sound very cheap, the Spiders Pub. Um, if you're on the Bar Street, on Flower Street, they're charging about six lev, uh, which is just less than three pounds for a pint of beer. So these bus stops here, like you can see here, um, that's the free bus to go to the water park, the aqua park, that's really popular here. Um, you can get a free bus there and back um, and this is the bus stop here but there's bus stops like this all up and down um, all up and down the street here uh, the main road you need to be on this main road to get the bus to Nesibar or the other side of the road if you cross the road the other side of the road you can get the bus in the direction of Sveti Vlas um, to go the other way on the, the bus to Nesibar it will cost you two lev which is about one pound and the bus to Sveti Vlas will cost you two or three lev. Um, so three lev is about one pound forty. The bus to Sveti Vlas, it takes about 20 minutes because it does start to pick people up on the way. And the bus to Nesibar takes about, about 15 minutes. Yeah, about 15 or 20 minutes from here. Uh, it's not far away at all. So opposite, you've got a restaurant called the Burger Star. So if you like meat and steaks and burgers, you can try that. That's uh, the Kalina Garden Hotel is just up above. Um, that's a really good place to stay because the location is right in the city center of town. You won't use any taxis there to get to the Bar Street if you're staying in the Kalina Garden. So this restaurant here, it was called, it was called Flora last year. So you might know it but actually it's changed the name now and it's called La Flor. And this is definitely one of the best restaurants in Sunny Beach. Um, it's got a lovely outdoor terrace there where you can sit in the shade or you can sit in the sun. And the food is absolutely fantastic there. They do seafood, meat, all kinds of different food. It's really, really busy every day as well in this restaurant. Let's take a look. And I went there yesterday and I had a delicious salmon steak yesterday in there. Um, I had the trout there last week, it was really delicious. And uh, definitely one of my favorite restaurants. You must try this one, La Flor Bar and Grill. And the, the staff speak really good English there as well. And um, just ask them for the daytime menu in there as well. And they've got all kinds of offers on in the daytime. Enjoy Cheers, much. mate, thank you. <laughs> What's on the day menu today, mate? Sorry? What's on the daytime menu today? It's a different, you know, it's a lunchtime. It's a different, but it's not so much. You know, What's like today though? Fish or meat? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And is the trout today or what? No, today it's uh, eggs. It's a Bulgarian traditional food. Ah, traditional yeah, Bulgarian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what's the name of this dish? It's a Panigurski Yaitza. Panigurski? Yeah, this is the name of the city, Panigur and X Yaitza. Oh, um, okay. Yeah. We're going to try. Thank you very much. You're Cheers. Welcome. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. So we carry on down the main road now and next door you have a bar called the Condor Bar and it's really cheap in the Condor Bar. Um, I believe it's about three lev for a pint of beer which is about £1.40 and you can get a coffee in there for a similar price around three lev. 
Now, Condor Bar is really popular with the expats. You can see all the tables are busy. A lot of British and Irish customers go here to the Condor Bar. So I do recommend it for a drink, guys. You sit yourself in the sun. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> How much are the beers here, mate? Is it three level? Yeah. Well, a bit of painter beers, about 250. 250? Half a litre of Stella in a bottle, three lev. Three lev, yeah. So this is one of the cheapest bars in the whole of Sunny Beach. And how much is a coffee in this one? Dead, 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 dead. The cheapest bar, cheapest bar yeah. Cheers, mate. Thanks a lot. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the Condor Bar is the cheapest bar in Sunny Beach, the gentleman's just told me. And um, so you must try the Condor Bar as well. Um, so you've got the Royal Centre Hotel there on the right side where you can see the blue sign. Um, to the left side you have the post office, that's the city post office there and you can change your money next door at the Crown Exchange. Although you might want to go to the bank to change your money because you probably get a, a much better rate in the bank than at the currency exchange. Um, on the left side there you can see the Bulgarian flag just on the left with the white, green and red. Straight ahead you can see the Royal Piano Bar with the um, the white sign up above there. As you can see, there's plenty of tourists around, lots of British, there's lots of Irish, lots of German, lots of Romanian tourists here as well. There's tourists here from all over the world coming here to Sunny Beach. It's a huge, huge tourist destination. Um, it started up as a tourist resort in 1959 as a communist tourist resort for the Bulgarian people and for people from Eastern Europe. And then it's just developed and got bigger and bigger and bigger over the years. And now all the package holiday companies from England are coming here, like TUI and Jet2. And now it's just full of British tourists. Lots of British have holiday homes here as well. So this is the Mexican restaurant here that you find just at the top of Flower Street. They've got a barbecue grill outside. If you look at this, look at the chicken on that, how fresh that is, the chicken. And the best thing about this Mexican one is they have the live music at night time and all the singers on. And I went in there, it's about five lev for a pint of beer, uh, which is about £2.50. So it's a kind of average price for town really. But I had a really nice night there, really enjoyed it. And I do recommend you give it a visit in the Mexican when you come here as well. So you'll see this sign outside. This is the sign with the name of the restaurant. And they've got pictures of the food outside. Um, they specialize in meat. If you look at this, um, this, this Bulgarian skewer, like a shish, um, that's what they specialize in. It's pork on a skewer. Um, they do meatballs and various things as well. And they've got all traditional wooden tables outside, you can see. So they'll do you a satch in there as well. They'll do all the traditional Bulgarian dishes like kavama. You can ask for a kavama in there if you want to try local food. And uh, they've got pictures of all the food outside as well. It's in Bulgarian, but you can use translate on your phone. And look for the boards outside the restaurants, guys. For example, this board here says 20% 20 20 discount on the whole menu between 12 and three. So I recommend you go to the restaurants in the daytime between 12 and three and ask them for the daytime menu and you get a discount and you get yourself a really good deal. So on the left side, we have the travel agency. So they're selling day trips and excursions. Um, I'd recommend the excursion to the Bulgarian village. Um, I met some people that went, they said it was brilliant with all the, all the dancing and um, the folklore show, um, traditional, a chance to try traditional Bulgarian food. They give you like a banquet included. Um, Let's have a look at the other excursions there. Uh, there's a day trip to Plovdiv, which is one of the oldest cities in Bulgaria. I'd recommend you the day trip to Istanbul. They're doing that for 146 lever. Um, so that's about, it's about 70 pounds. And you do a one day trip to Istanbul, which is about six hours away from here. Um, and you can see Istanbul is one of the most beautiful cities in the whole world and um, you'll definitely enjoy Istanbul. You can see the top Kapi Palace and it's the meeting point for Asia and Europe. It's an absolutely fascinating city. So down here you have all the, um, the clothes shops that sell all the copies. They sell all designer clothes, uh, t-shirts, caps, belts, bags. You get all your names, Gucci, Armani, Hugo Boss, all the names that you like. You can buy all your copies there as well, guys. Um, 
And on the left side, you have the main supermarket called Janet Supermarket. Uh, Janet is probably the best value supermarket in the city center of Sunny Beach. Um, you can buy a water there, big water for about 25 pence. Um, everything's very reasonable in Janet. If you find Aldo Supermarket, Aldo Supermarket is very expensive. So you'll find Janet Supermarket at the top end of Flower Street. So what you do, you're on the Bar Street, Flower Street, and you cross the road, and then you get straight here to Janet City Market. And the other cheap supermarket here is the Lidl, but the Lidl is like right down at the end of Sunny Beach. I think it's on the north side. So um, it's kind of a bit further to reach really, but if you've got a car, go to the Lidl, and the Lidl is the cheapest one that you're gonna find, guys. So on the left side, straight ahead, you've got the Diamond Hotel. And I'm gonna turn right now and go on to Flower Street. So by the way, the weather's really nice today. It's about 27 degrees, really, really nice and sunny. And this is what they call the Strip. This is the main bar street where all the bars and the restaurants are here in Sunny Beach. This is called Flower Street. And this is where you come if you want the action. Um, really busy, full of people every single day. It's absolutely packed at nighttime. People walking up and down, going out to the parties. On the signs here, it's advertising the openings of all the nightclubs. Um, the season just started about a week or two ago. And the season started quite late actually this year here. Uh, last year I came here on the 9th of May and it was all busy and I had nine days of pure sun and this year it's kind of strange because this year I had some well some sunny days some cloudy days some rainy days but the season started late this year and um, some of the bars well most of the bars were open but some of the beach clubs with the big parties they were not open like Kiki Beach is not open yet um, La Playa Beach Bar is not open yet um, You've got the Viking, which is open and packed busy every single day. Absolutely packed last night. You just can't move in the Viking. Um, Cabana Beach Club has not opened yet. On the right side, you've got the sushi one. So there where you see the, um, there's a casino on the right side and that one below the blue, uh, that's actually a sushi one. And that's just opened just now. But he said the tap beer wasn't ready. So they only had bottles the other day. Now, to change your money here, if you look on the left side, you've got the, the blue sign, you've got the cooperative bank. And you can change your money there in the bank and you probably get a better rate than at the currency exchange. Um, so have a look at, you know, compare, go to about four or five different currency shops, check the prices, check what rates they're offering. Uh, don't jump in when you first arrive and just change your money. You must compare. So now we're going in the direction of the promenade and the beach. And you've just got shops up and down here selling all kinds of things, you know, all kinds of copies and tourist things as well. So the shops straight ahead, you can see they're selling designer belts here. Have a look on the left side. They're belts with Armani on, Hugo Boss on, that type of thing. And they're selling uh, all bags and they're selling purses and wallets. They're selling all the copy, copy designer watches as well and the sunglasses too. And the sunglasses are 25 lever, which is about 12 pounds. But I do recommend you, um, you come here and bring an empty suitcase or just bring, leave lots of room in your suitcase because the shopping here is absolutely brilliant. It's one of the best seaside resorts in Europe for shopping. Um, you can just buy all your copies. You can buy everything you need here in Sunny Beach. You don't need to bring things with you. You can buy a pair of shorts here, a pair of Nike shorts, a copy for 10 lev, which is less than five pounds. Um, you can buy all the socks here, 10 pairs of socks for 18 lever. They're Nike, they're Adidas, Calvin Klein, uh, you've got Tommy Hilfiger and you're getting 10 pairs for 18 lever, which is about £8.50 or £9. And they've got all signs. Always look for the signs with the price on. And if they have a sign with the price on, you know what you're going to pay. 
if there's no price on it means they're going to charge you a high price for those t-shirts or whatever so make sure you look for signs with the prices on as well you can buy your um all your phone equipment here on the corner on flower street as well your phone covers if you need a phone cover or anything for your phone um straight ahead is the tobacco shop um by the way it's only 25 euros uh, for a 200 sleeve of cigarettes. So maybe bring some cigarettes back home with you if you're a smoker as well. It's the cheapest place in Europe to buy your cigarettes here. So straight away you've saved money when you've arrived. Hey man, how's it going? Cheers. So this guy's going to give you discounts. Yes, that's it. Thanks man. And this guy's the promoter for Jack's Restaurant and Bar. You can get a pint of beer for uh, just less than five lever. Exactly. So that's uh, about £2.40. They have all the live bands on. It's a really good pub. So I do recommend you check it out, guys. Cheers, bro. Thank Bye. You. See See you. Uh, the left side here, we've got the, the Corner Live Club. If you go above, uh, they have all the live concerts on. Some of the biggest Bulgarian musicians are on there as well. It's a live music place up above, above the corner bar. And you can see the menus, all the menus here outside. Uh, this is called the corner bar, so they're showing things. They've got lamb, lamb chops, beef steaks, schnitzels, hamburgers, lasagnas, Mediterranean salad. The best thing to order, if you go to the, to the corner bar here, they do the best pizza in town. The pizza is absolutely delicious. Honestly, you must come to the corner bar and try the pizza. Um, they have a promo on beer here. It's um, 2 lev 90 for a pint of local beer. It's just called local beer. It doesn't really have a name. It's just a local one, but it's a very, very good deal. Um, and the Kamenica would be about 4.9 lev, which is about £2.40 a pint. They have the menus outside in all the restaurants here. So you can just have a look and you can see the price before you go in. So a beef burger is 18 lev, which is about um, £9, um, about £8.50, £9. Um, but you must go for the pizza uh, here. The pizza is just fantastic. Um, spaghetti bolognese there is um, 17 lever 18. It's 17 lever there for the lasagna as well. And if you ask, they might have a daytime menu too. Up above, they've got the, um, the, the, the corner bar as well up above where they've got all the, um, all the live bands on and everything. It's really good. So let me show you the corner bar and terrace there as well. And on the left side, this is the 24 hour pizza place here on the left side. And um, they do slices of pizza there for four lev, which is less than two pounds for a slice of pizza. I ate two slices of pizza late night last night. Actually, it was quite nice. Um, and here are the prices outside. Like you can, you can get a deal if you buy a bottle, you see. So if you buy the whole bottle of whiskey, uh, you get a discount. This is the price for the bottle. It's 84 lev, which is 40 pounds for a bottle of Jim Beam. And then you get like your Coca-Cola's included and your Red Bull's included. Or um, you could get, a, um, for example, what else can you get? You can get the Smirnoff Vodka for 74 lev. So it's about 35 pounds. Um, and you get your Coke and your Red Bull included. So if you've got a group of people, just ask about buying the bottle. Um, there's the Gabbana nightclub on the left side. It's one of the best nightclubs in town. Uh, they have all the famous DJs on there. You can see uh, the signs outside of what's going on there. But a lot of people told me about Gabbana nightclub. I've not been inside yet, but they told me it's a good party. So maybe try it one day as well. As you can see, you can, if, you, if you have mobility problems, you can get one of these uh, mobility scooters in town as well. You can hire a mobility scooter. It's all flat here, so it's perfect for the older generation. Um, just get yourself a mobility scooter. So on the left side there, you can see the underground club, Sunny Beach. So what it is, you pay one price, for example, you might pay 40 lev, which is um, uh, 30 or 40 lev. Um, 30 lev is 15 pounds and you get two hours of free drinks. But you have to ask it, the price would depend on the day of the week actually in there. On the left side here, this was the Brexit bar, but it's changed to Central now. They've changed the name to Central. Um, I don't know why they've changed the name, but, it, but it's normally really busy. This tour's taken at two o'clock in the afternoon, so it's a nice quiet time where you can see everywhere and it's, it's just easier to do the tour. 
early in the afternoon before all the packs of people come out. But it's a nice place there to people watch as well. And this is the area where all the nightlife goes on. So today we've got the uh, the FA Cup final. It's Manchester City against Man United. So I'm just thinking where to watch that later on. So I'm looking forward to the game later on anyway. Um, on the left side here, you can buy your, your ice cream here, uh, just next door to the central bar. go straight ahead down this street there's lots of um, lots of shops down there and uh, they're selling all the copies as well and market stalls there's fairground rides and all kinds going down there um, a lot of the bars here do a happy hour with two for one on cocktails so do look out for the happy hour and just ask them the times um, this bar here is called the arena bar so here's the terrace of it and they have live bands on there at night time so it's worth checking out Loads of the expats, loads of the British, they go, they go there and it gets really busy and noisy at night time with all the party crowd going in there. And they have a terrace outside. So you can just eat your dinner on the terrace, watch the people go by. Um, all of these bars offer English breakfast. Um, they're normally about 15 lever for an English breakfast, which is about seven pound 50. And you get a coffee and a cup of tea included as well in the price. Uh, in the bar here, uh, a pint of beer is five lever, which is about two pound forty. The same as the other bars; they're all about the same, really, um, very similar. And tonight they have uh, a ballet show on at this one. Some nights they have shows like the Elvis show. Um, they had a Queen show the other night, and um, they have all different ones. Um, and this one here is doing fish and seafood. So let's have a look. Oh, they've got mussels. And what you want to ask for is the black sea fish because this is on the black sea coast and um, the fish here is it, you want to eat the local fish from the black sea and it will be better value for money and it will be much much fresher as well so on the right side you've got one of the busiest pubs here it's called the funny pub uh, i went there last night they've got all the live bands on it's really really busy really busy every single night the famous funny pub uh, there's a band on tonight called the, the Vagabond, set on the board outside and you can always find the menu at the front of the pub so you can have a look at the menu before you go in, see, see what they've got to offer. Hey mate! So guys, uh, thank you very much for watching my guided tour today and uh, cheers! Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel at Travel with Col and that's Col with a C-O-L. Cheers guys, bye bye!